in this class we can see the differences of a polynomial. So we have seen that, uh, we have, in the last class we have said that if y is equal to f of x is a polynomial of nth degree, then its nth order difference, delta n y will be a constant. We can, today we can prove this relation using a polynomial. For this, we can consider an nth order or nth degree polynomial uh, y of x and degree polynomial in x that is y of x and it is uh, it can be written as a0 x raised to n plus a1 x raised to n minus 1 plus a2 x raised to n minus 2 plus etc etc up to a n. This may be marked as equation number 1. Now, due to a very small change in x, that is when x changes to x plus h, the value of y also changes. The value of y may be written as y of x plus h and that will be again equal to a0. Instead of x, we have to write x plus h. So, a0 x raised to or x plus h raised to n plus a1 x plus h raised to n minus 1 plus a2 x plus h raised to n minus 2 plus etc etc again plus a because it is independent of x. So this may be marked as equation number 2. Now the change in the y value that is delta y will be equal to delta y will be equal to y of x plus h minus y of x that is equation 2 minus equation 1 that is delta y is equal to we may take the difference or subtract equation 1 from equation 2 so uh, we can subtract term by term for example here the a0 coefficients a0 into then the terms are x plus h all raised to n minus x raised to n. Then next term a1, a1 into x plus h all raised to n minus 1 minus a1 coefficient a1 uh, is 4 x raised to n minus 1 plus etc etc. So the last term will be 0 because a n minus uh, a n uh, minus a n that is 0. So the uh, term before a n will be uh, we can write this as a n minus 1 x a n minus 1 x and here it will be a n minus 1 x plus h. Send it. Now when we take the difference the term will be a n minus 1 x plus h minus x. A n term will get cancelled. Now we can again expand this using binomial theorem so that this is a0 into x plus h all raised to n is equal to x raised to n plus n x raised to n minus 1 h plus n into n minus 1 x raised to n minus 2 h square by 2 factorial plus n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 x raised to n minus 3 h cube by 3 factorial plus etc etc plus uh, and the last term is minus 6 raised to n so minus x raised to n plus a1 into a1 into this term when we expand it becomes x raised to n minus 1 plus n minus 1 x raised to n minus 2 h plus n minus 1 into n minus 2 x raised to n minus 3 n minus 1 n minus 3 into h square by 
2 factorial plus etc etc plus then 8 2 into uh, the similar terms and etc etc the last term is a n minus 1 into h a n minus 1 into x plus h minus x so that becomes a n minus 1 into h now again we can group the coefficients of the similar degrees of x or similar terms containing similar powers of x so this becomes uh, coefficient of x raised to n a0 first term is a0 x raised to n then Um, then here, uh, here x, there is x0, x raised to n and here minus x raised to n. So the, these terms will get cancelled. Similarly, here also there is one x raised to n minus 1 term. So that again gets cancelled and here we have cancelled the x value earlier. So uh, we are getting the first... Uh, getting the first term as a0 nh into so we can write delta y as a0 nh a0 nh x raised to n minus 1 then plus x raised to n minus 1 is having only one term well, that is only one term containing x raised to n minus 1 then there are x raised to n minus 2 terms so uh, we can combine those two. So the first term will be a0 into n into n minus 1 h square by 2 factorial. That is this one. Plus the other term is this one. That is a1 n minus 1 h plus a1 n minus 1 h n minus 1 h into x raised to n minus 2 plus etc etc and the last term is a n minus 1 h now we can see that all these values are constant if h is a constant that is if x is equi equidistant points then the value of h will be a constant so that this term is actually a constant. A0, nh is constant. Similarly, the term in the bracket, that is A0, n into n minus 1 x square by 2 factorial plus A1, n minus 1 into h is also a constant provided x is equidistant points. So that we may write this as equal to A0, nh, x raised to n minus 1 plus the, uh, uh, for this constant value we can write it as a1 plus a1 uh, or a1 dash we can use because a1 we have used earlier so a1 dash x raised to n minus 2 x raised to n minus 2 plus next term will be a2 dash x raised to n minus 3 plus etc etc up to last term we can write it as plus a n dash so, when we take the first difference, uh, when we take the first difference, we are getting a polynomial of degree n minus 1. First difference of a polynomial of degree n is a polynomial of degree n minus 